Always something new to discover. Ray tracing has fundamentally transformed the landscape of lighting in video games, becoming an essential feature in AAA titles. When a game omits ray tracing, the difference is palpable, highlighting how critical this technology has become. In response to the demands of lighting artists, Unreal Engine 5.5 has introduced Megalight, an experimental feature that promises to elevate lighting capabilities to new heights without compromising performance. At Unreal Fest in Seattle, with Johnson, the senior director of product strategy for Unreal Engine at Epic Games, presented Megalight as a groundbreaking development. Megalight removes limitation in a whole new category, direct lighting and shadows. Take for example these textured area lights, considered the gold standard of offline rendering. Here they are, in real time, spilling vibrant color into the scene, casting soft shadows and illuminating the environment in a way artists simply couldn't have done before. He emphasized that Unreal Engine is at its best when users can express themselves without technical constraint. Just as Nanite revolutionized triangle rendering and Lumen enhanced global illumination, Megalight aims to eliminate limitations in direct lighting and shadows. Megalight allows developers to utilize shadow casting light than ever before, fundamentally transforming how light and shadows interact in gaming environment. In a live demonstration, Epic Games showcased a marketplace scene illuminated by thousand light sources, showcasing the skill and potential of this new technology. One of the most significant advancements with Megalight is its approach to shadows. There's something missing though, the scene is flat, it's undefined. Let's turn on shadows, but not just for a few important lights, for every single light in the entire view. From these main shop fronts to the screens, the displays, the flickering oil lamps, string lights, candles, signs, we're free to use whatever lights we need to tell our story and bring this beautiful environment to life. While the initial visual impression may appear bright and appealing, the integration of realistic shadows from all light sources add depth and realism to the scene. The dynamic capabilities of mega lights were further illustrated by moving shadow casts by a swarm of drones, demonstrating the feature's versatility in various scenarios. A major concern for developers is how such advanced lighting technology will perform across different hardware configurations. Epic Games demonstrated the Mega Light features running natively on a PlayStation 5 console. With senior tech product manager Victor Broden controlling the demo using a DualSense controller, this showcases the feature's efficiency, suggesting that Mega Light can run smoothly even on a base PlayStation 5, making it accessible for a broader range of developers. Del Walker, a senior character artist known for his works on titles like Star Wars Jedi, Survivor, and Suicide Squad, killed the Justice League, shared his thoughts on X. He noted, People often don't realize how many games look amazing in development until we have to cut back on lighting to make them run on consoles. This is gonna next gen your next gen games. His comment escapulates the excitement and anticipation within the game development community regarding the potential of mega lights to enhance visual fidelity without sacrificing performance. With the introduction of mega light in Unreal Engine 5.5, Epic Games continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in game development by allowing developers to harness the power of extensive lighting systems without performance penalties. Mega Light is set to redefine the standards of visual storytelling in gaming. As developers begin to explore these new possibilities, players can look forward to richer, more immersive gaming experience that fully leverages the advancement in lighting technology. Before we get into the details of Megalights, I first wanted to talk about this environment. 
built using a suite of brand new assets from the Quixel Megascans library. We've also partnered with Kitbash 3D. They're an awesome resource for 3D models and materials. You can soon find many of these assets on our new Fab Asset Marketplace if you want to use them in your own projects.